guys welcome to a very rainy la vlog it's gonna pour all day today and all day tomorrow which is crazy i mean there was hail yesterday hail apparently at the hollywood sign there was snow craziness i bought a new brown sugar creamer yes i did get the one at trader joe's a couple days ago but i've been wanting to try this one because obviously it's so much bigger and i'm just curious i gotta know all the options of the brown sugar creamers i've gotten mixed reviews i put this on my instagram story yesterday i just gotta try it like you know put it on my story yesterday some people said it was better than the trader joe's some people said it was not even close i will be the judge i'm very serious about this so cheers mm. now let me try the trader joe's this is a very serious review to be had for the sake of a genuine test i mean i use a different cup i don't want anything to alter the results here interesting i thought for sure i would like the trader joe's one better jill liked that one better well, I'm gonna say it's very similar. There is definitely a little bit of a difference in the flavor. What a way to start the vlog. But the real test is gonna be how it does in coffee. Now I find with the Trader Joe's one, I have to add a lot of creamer to get the flavor at all. And I'm curious to see how this one will compare. Let's just try that amount. Why does it taste like campfire? Like legitimately taste like campfire. Wait, I'm gonna add more. Am I good? Maybe it's the coffee. I don't know. In the coffee, I'm not sure about this one. This one I know I love. But we will continue on this journey throughout the weekend and see how it goes. Anyways, it's breakfast time. 8.02. If you know, you know. My favorite breakfast. My little avocado deviled eggs. Mm. Pouring outside, like pouring. And this is why I went to Target yesterday to get umbrellas. Also, I did get some boxes delivered yesterday too. Not gonna start on that quite yet, but I think after the weekend, I'm just gonna start like putting some of the things that I know I want back in Toronto. Some of like the decor that's in the little crawl space over here, you know, like seasonal decor that I definitely will not be using here. Things that I don't need right now. I look forward to it actually. I think it's gonna be really fun. I also got bubble wrap. 8.14 in the morning. I have a workout with Kaya at nine and then I got all day here at home with the rain. So I wanna do some reading, got some editing to do. Should be a good day, like a solid day. Well balanced, that's the plan. This marks officially the first time in the history of my life in LA, which is, you know, over the course of many years, that I'm having to turn the heat on. I don't even turn the heat on in Toronto. I don't even do it there, but I'm fucking freezing. And you know, it's gotta be really cold. I don't even wanna tell you how cold it is in here right now, cause you'd be like, you're insane. But I'm gonna tell you anyways, it's been 63 degrees. When I woke up yesterday, it was 58 degrees in here. <laughs> like. Bridget. I like a nice 67. That's where I'm happy. 67, 68. I like it cold. This is unbearably chilly. Like I am about to work out with Kaya, but like, <sighs> I think I'm gonna have to keep my sweater on the whole time. I'm so freaking cold. I got my class with her in 15. I just gotta finish my thumbnail for the vlog. So I wanna get that up for our class. I'm officially plopping my ass down on the couch for the remainder of the afternoon. 120. I'm just gonna sit here, get a little bit of work done, and then I'm I'm rooting. It's just like the coziest vibe, and I just wanna like snuggle up. <laughs> it's a Friday, and we all know how Fridays go. I started a thousand boy kisses because so many people recommended it to me, and I feel like I'm gonna cry a lot. I just feel like I am. I'm 15% in, and I already feel like it's gonna be a journey. I'm looking forward to it and I'm diving in. It is many hours later. I've been reading my book. I did some editing. I already know that book is going to destroy me. I just found out what the deal is with the main character, with main girl. 
I'm already upset about it. I'm upset. But I'm gonna get myself ready for dinner tonight. The weather is insane out there. Like, I really can't believe we're going out, but we are. Jill Haley and I are going for dinner at Elefante. Actually, it's my parents' reservation because they were supposed to be here. I had raved so much about Elefante that they booked a reservation for the three of us. But obviously, they didn't end up coming, and so I took the res. I feel like it's gonna be empty in there. Like, I just can't imagine there's gonna be people there. But I guess we're going, so other people will be going too. But Elefante is one of my favorite, favorite restaurants here, so I'm really excited. I figured we could do a cute little get ready with me and I would talk about some stuff. So if you're watching the vlog last October when I was here, you know that that trip was not the most fun for me. By the end of it, I was in a pretty bad place, like a place that I have not been in in honestly a long time. I was just like really, really down. You know, obviously things happen in people's personal lives and it's kind of hard to, like I, I'm not, I can't put on an act. If I'm going through it, like I'm, it's just, it is what it is. There's no hiding it. But at the same time, it's not really easy to <laughs> just like share with the world some personal shit that you're going through, especially like while you're going through it. It's kind of, I don't know. I really don't like the idea of just like airing out your dirty laundry on the internet. I just don't think it's super cute, but you know, it's been a while now and everything's kind of settled. And I feel like I can kind of fill you in a little bit on what happened. Now I'm gonna be broad, I'm gonna be very general here because again, I'm not gonna air out dirty laundry and like go into specifics. Long story short, I had somebody I considered a friend who I felt intentionally, I don't know how to put it. There was a very disrespectful series of events and it really, really got me down because I haven't been in a situation in a long time where I've had an issue with anybody. And I just like don't put myself in situations where there would be drama. And so this just like really took me aback and I really didn't know how to handle it. I felt like so much of what I thought I knew was just like completely taken from me in a moment. And it took me a while to just like process. I just couldn't understand why someone would do something so hurtful. <laughs> I would never intentionally go out of my way to make anyone feel uncomfortable or disrespected or hurt in any regard, you know? So it just really took me aback and I didn't know how to process. And as, you know, adults, we talked it out and then I came to learn that this person was just like talking a whole lot of shit about me behind my back, spreading lies and rumors. And I just like, I don't, I, can't have that in my life. I'm at a point in my life where I have a lot of good people in it and it's just not worth it to me to keep a resemblance of peace with somebody that I just don't respect. And it's not easy. <laughs> I'm just at a point where I feel a lot of peace and comfort in my life. And if anything is disrupting that, I am just removing myself. It's not worth it to me. But now we're back and I feel good about being back. It's all about the mindset. Honestly, I have had a lot of anxiety about what it would be like coming back, but it's all a choice. Your mindset's a choice, your emotions are a choice. Like that's what I'm coming to understand. It's all a choice. And I could have easily come here with the anxiety just lingering in me. And just like all of these uncomfortable feelings that I had been carrying for, months <laughs> but a few days before my flight i was just like fuck this like this is just like internally hurting me and i decided i wasn't gonna let it bother me anymore and i was gonna do my thing and live my life the way that i like to live it and enjoy my time because worrying does nothing and i know it's easier said than done and it takes a lot of mental like work to just not <laughs> stress over things and it's something that i just i actively try to improve because for me it's so easy to like really overthink things and get into my head and just like shut down as you saw at the end of that trip i like i just i could not function but i just i don't want to live that life so i chose not to <laughs> anyways that is the extent of what i am going to share about that it's in the past and we move forward what time is it 5 10 okay so jill's coming here around 5 30. i have a bottle of champagne because something exciting for jilly we are gonna celebrate tonight meet Haley, and then tomorrow it's also gonna be raining all day long so i think i'm gonna go over to jill and cons and we're just gonna have like a little cozy game night probably play some Catan, drink some wine it's gonna be great okay we're putting on the jams what do i want to put on now jonas brother that's the name. Haley's gonna pick us up so that I don't really need to bring a jacket. Also, shout out to Tasha for leaving her curling iron here yesterday. She came over for a date pregame. So fun. So I got to curl my hair because apparently I brought my curling iron back to Toronto. I thought I had one here. I do not. Okay, Jilly's been here. We've had some champagne and we are heading out. Haley's here and we're gonna 
throw on some gloss. I really like this fancy one, man. Ooh, I haven't tried the fancy glosses. It's got like a little football. Oh, it's so cute because it was. Oh, I saw you got that package. I was so jealous. It was so good. Yeah, that's amazing. I've decided I love fancy stuff. Yeah, I've heard amazing things about it. You will like this a lot. So yeah. if you want to touch up, I'll let me know. All right. We're heading out. Oh my God, it's literally pouring. Okay, we can do it. We oh just gotta get across. There's a, it's flooding. It's okay, literally it's flooding. Oh my God, yeah. It's a river. <laughs> okay. Okay, ah. thank you. It's not so bad. It's a drizzle. <laughs> just <laughs> Cheers, ladies. Yay. Happy girls night. Cheers. I want to Okay, we got uh, the whipped eggplant on the house because they seated us way after the reservation. But 35 minutes late. Yeah, but you know it's fine because we got the free eggplant and it's the best. The food has arrived. We have the ketchup and pizza. We have vodka sauce, pasta. Haley got the pesto. I'm so excited. All right, it's 9:22, which is so nice. It's like not a crazy hour. Love getting home at like a decent time so I can get into bed, get cozy, read my book. Such a fun little girls night. I'm gonna take off my makeup, get into bed, and I'll see you tomorrow. Please ignore the explosion of my suitcase. I will tackle it eventually. Maybe Monday. Monday feels like a good day for it. It is 4 p.m. Saturday. I have been on the couch all day long. Truly like in like a couch hole, you know? And just like truly in there and there's no moving you. That's been me. It's been pouring rain all day. Dark, gloomy vibes. So it's just been so nice. I've been alternating between watching some TV, reading a chapter, and watching another episode. I restarted Once Upon a Time just for fun. And I really, I'm loving it. It's so good. I made a little baby coffee before heading out just because I've been like deep in the couch hole. But I'm gonna go over to Joan Cons and we're gonna have a game rest of the day, game night, game day. The three of us haven't gotten to play Catan in so long and it's just like our favorite. So I'm so excited. It should just be a really, really chill evening in, which is preferred with this kind of weather. We did our outing yesterday. Today we're hanging in. I think we might even order ramen for dinner. We'll see, but I'm gonna call an uber and head over to theirs okay quickly changed my top it's just like not t-shirt vibes so i threw on a long sleeve got my game and we are heading out i don't know just gonna go some wheat they want to trade i have no wheat no i don't have any wheat the wellness out of the day oh sarah please i'm begging no you're right i can't do it yeah uh, but the four can go. We need the wood. Uh. Mm, look at that. Wow, that looks so good. For just bite. It smells spicy too. Yeah. Sunday. The skies, well, the skies this way blue, this way darkness. So I'm not totally sure how the day is gonna go, but I think it's supposed to be blue all day, which is exciting. I'm excited to get back in the world and like not think about the umbrella. I personally enjoy rain for a couple days, but then I want the blue back. So I'm excited. It's gonna be a good day. Going to the West Hollywood Farmer's Market. I've never been there. Last time I was here, Tasha took me to the Farmer's Market in the Palisades, which was so nice. So I'm really excited to go back and get some of the same stuff because it was so good. But we are trying the coffee and the creamer again. So this is the Starbucks coffee with the Trader Joe's this time. So I just wanna see if it's giving campfire. Mm -mm. I don't know what it was that day. I don't know, that was weird. This is good. So I'm gonna leave here around 11 with Tasha. We're gonna go shoot something for her at Target and then we're gonna go to the farmer's market. We're going with one of Tasha's friends and then her friend's cousin. So it should be a fun little girl's day. I think we might even go to Soho House after the farmer's market. It's Tasha's last day before she starts a new job. So we gotta make it a good one.
like, oh, I'm at 74%. <laughs> Stop crying. It's like everything that's happening in this book right now. It's just like breaking my heart. I finished the book and it wrecked me. I was crying for the entire last 30% of it. Like it was so sad. Uh, now it's like five o'clock. I do not recommend reading that book if you're not trying to cry because it really got me. It really, it did it. I woke up so tired this morning. I just like, the motivation was not there. So I'm gonna count tomorrow as Monday. This is my Sunday. I was out the entire day yesterday. So just like my social battery depleted a little bit. I say that as if I'm not about to head out once again. <laughs> I got some work done this morning and I've just been on the couch reading <laughs> the last couple of hours. I just needed to finish it. But I'm heading out to Tasha's. We're gonna have like a little happier moment at her place. My suitcase is on the floor. It's actually a mess in here. I'm gonna clean tomorrow. That's the plan. But today was her first day at her new job. So I wanna like, you know, download about it all, hear how it went and everything. So I think I'm actually gonna walk over there just to get some fresh air, move my body because I have not moved all day. And I feel like there's potential for a nice sunset. We will see. She also has my dips at her place from the farmer's market. So I'm gonna grab those from her and I'm so excited to haul them for you guys because they are so good. You know me and my dips, it's very serious. And these ones are insane. I really never would've thought I'd be uh, eating a puffer jacket in LA. Like this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing sweatpants and a puffer jacket for my walk. That's insane. <laughs> I just ran into on my beautiful stroll. You will not believe it. I'm gonna tell you when I get home, but I am in shock right now. I'm in shock. The odds of this are so slim. This is everything. Everything. Made it up to the roof. Here we are. Oh, it's beautiful. This is the last time I'm gonna ask you to ignore the floor because I will fix it before the next vlog. I will clean up in here. So please ignore for the last time. It is eight o'clock, just got back, and I gotta show you the dips. So last time I was here, I got these two at the farmer's market. First of all, the roasted garlic hummus, insane. Then we got a sun-dried tomato garlic spread, also insane. And then these two, oh man, they were handing out samples of dips. And I couldn't say no. So the first one was the kitchen sink dip. It was out of control delicious. And then the garlic basil spread. And something funny actually happened. It's not that funny. As we all know, and I talked about in my last vlog that somebody called me a toddler for audibly enjoying my food. I definitely express myself with my food. Like I really just, mm, we all know. Anyways, it was just funny to me because I was enjoying the samples and I was so genuinely excited about them because I was so they were so good. And the guy at the booth was like so excited, wanted to give me more samples because he was like, it's so nice to see someone so genuinely excited. And honestly, it was just like a reminder to me that something that somebody might hate about you is gonna be something that someone loves about you. No matter what, you'll never <laughs> be the perfect person to everybody. Everyone has different like tastes and preferences in people. But I think just moral of the story is like, be yourself, be exactly who you are because people are gonna love you for it. Even if not everyone does, cause that's impossible. As long as you are who you are, you're gonna find the right people in your life and you're gonna, I don't I don't know. It put a smile on my face, honestly, seeing someone get excited over something that I just do as a very mundane thing that someone like tried to make me feel bad about. Anyways, I gotta make myself dinner and I also wanna get in bed because I've had a very sleepy day and I just wanna go to bed early. But I have to tell you about what happened earlier because I could not believe my eyes. It was just like, like no way, no way. So I know there's a lot of us out there that remember my neighbor, you know, formerly known as the witch. I have not seen her since I sold the house, obviously like just never thought twice about her, <laughs> moved on. I was crossing the street and this was like by chance. It just like, because the light switched, I was like, okay, I'll cross and go like take a moment and look at the sunset versus just walking straight to Tasha's. And as I was crossing, I was passing this woman and I was looking at her and she was looking at me and I was like, 
she looks really familiar. And then I was like, no way. And then I kept like thinking about it. It was started to register as it, it just took some time because I was, it was shock. It started to register and then I turned around and I recognized her hat. It was a hat that I always saw her wearing when she walked around the neighborhood. It was her. It was her. I never thought I would see her ever again, ever again. Never mind in Santa Monica or like really outside of the neighborhood. Like I just always pictured her in that neighborhood. But I had heard stories about like people seeing her on hikes and like, you know, she goes out and lives her life. I never thought I would see her again. And I genuinely, like I know for a fact it was her. I, I It's not like someone that looks similar to her. It was her. It really just like stunned me. That was funny. And I have to share, obviously. People ask me all the time to this day, like what's the update? Even though like I don't live there anymore. So that's the latest. While we're on the topic of her, I have seen like a TikTok that was circling of her from somebody else's point of view that posted her and like posted her face and everything. Somebody DM'd it to me being like, oh my God, is this her? It sounds just like her. And sure enough, when I saw her face, I was like, yeah, that's her, that's her. So she's out there living her life. I don't know, not involved, not my problem. But apparently she, she goes on sunset strolls, one of the same. Anyways, I gotta figure out my dinner for tonight. I really don't know what I'm gonna make, but I'm just gonna whip something up really fast and then right to bed. So hope you enjoyed this vlog. I feel like it was really all over the place, but I hope you enjoyed anyways. But I love ya. Let me know if there's a good book, like a thriller I should read or a good romance. I don't know. Give me some recs in the comments. I'm looking to add to the TBR. Anyways, I will see you guys on Friday. Bye.